So now it's time to do the pick guard. And how do you make a custom pick guard? Well, you need a good template, you need a jigsaw, you need a router, and you need the right ruling bit. So I decided not to bore you with this mess over here. Uh, all the attempts to do a good template. I think I have one here. First of all, I'm cutting this out. So now I have some rough cutouts of the two pieces of the pick guard. The idea is to put them on my template like this and then root around it and inside it here. Well, so far it has worked out. So now I'm going to do the angle on the pickguard with this rooting bit. So the idea is to ride along the edge right here and cut an angle on the pickguard. Obviously it would be better to have a rooting table, but I don't have that. I haven't seen anybody else do that on YouTube or elsewhere, but uh, it should work out. So let's try it. Pretty nice. Uh -huh. And obviously there's a reason why people have a rooting table. And I think that would be why right here, a little imperfection right there. But all in all, I'm happy with the result. How did it work? Well, it looks good and I'm really happy with this one. I was also very happy with this one until I put it on the guitar. Take a look at this. Can you see anything wrong right there? Well, I can. So I'm back. It's a little late, but I did it. And this is the new one. Let's see how it fits. Like that. Doesn't that fit? So now I can get a good night's sleep. Uh, tomorrow I have to do other important stuff. But uh, the day after tomorrow, I hope I can drill some holes in the pick guard and get on with it. So I'm back and uh, it still looks good, I have to say. But I don't really feel like drilling holes right now. I feel like sanding. You make me feel like sanding. I'm gonna sand the night away. Stop it, that too. Stop it. So I've been by my friend's house and I borrowed these micro mesh sanding pads. And they are from 1500 until 12,000 grit. I'm not going for a high gloss, glass-like surface. I don't know how glossy it should be. I have to stop at the right moment. And of course, I'm very, very careful with water. I don't want water to get into the body. So it's a very thin layer of nitro I've on here. So I'm going for 2400 to begin with.
So I've been through 4,000 grit now and it's very lightly I'm doing this and I have no idea if I'm doing it right. Does it look as it should? I don't really know what I'm expecting here, but I feel a little more gloss is necessary. I don't like to put water on it anymore, so uh, I'll try it out dry. So as you can see, I'm definitely getting some glossiness right here, but uh, over here, not so much. So I think this is it. It's definitely not like a mirror, but uh, it's pretty glossy right here. You can see my reflection. Hello. It's uh, shiny, but not totally glossy. And the grains really stand out like that. And that is pretty nice. So I'm planning to do a relic job on this one, but uh, that's where I really need the skills of Dennis Fano. He's an artist when it comes to relicking, but I think I'm waiting a little. I'm very happy with where it is right now. So I'm going on to assembly, uh, putting the neck on, then there's the electronics and the guitar has to be set up. I still need to drill some holes in the pickguard, but for now, great looking guitar. So now it's time to drill some holes in the pickguard. And first I'm going to put some markers where the holes should be. I actually think that the next thing is a pretty big thing. I want to assemble the guitar again. So now I'm going to put on the neck, put everything on, put on strings and set the pickups and see how they fit. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see the next part of this series, please be sure to click the subscribe button and the little bell icon so that you can get notified every time there's a new video. This is Lea Stick Guitar Builds. I'll see you in the next video.